What's good, YouTube? You know what it is. OTB Gale back in the cut. You know what's up? Back with another banger. Madman angry at everyone gets owned in race debate. Charlie Kirk. Honestly, bro, I like the Charlie Kirk videos, bro. He keep it real, he keep it 100, and he keep his 10 toes down. Like, whatever you say, you not changing his mind. Whatever you say, if it's wrong, he gonna stand on that. You know? A lot of these motherfuckers be wrong on that left. <clears throat> so anyways, let's get involved, man. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Let's get it. All right, so I've been watching this for some 20 odd years. Tuh. Just... Oh, ma'am. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is shot like. Get on his ass. What do you say? All right, so I've been watching this for some 20 odd years. 20 odd years. Look at ass name. Oh, ma'am, you've been. Hold on, bro. Got, bro got an earring in his right ear only. All right, so I've been watching this for some twenty odd okay. years. Okay. You know, just. Oh, ma'am, you've been doing it forever. Welcome right. to the let, let First me, Amendment. Just, I fought, sir. Can you just stay focused on your pay jacket, sir? Thank you. you. I brought it overseas. All right, sir. Just, just ask me the question. So, what is it about conservatives and this whole racism thing? Like, you guys are always just saying that it's either not a thing or it's, you know, just not in any of the institutions or the police department. But it seems that over the past 18 years, we've had several race riots, and the biggest one being in 2020. So, it's like, how are we still denying segregation in a city where we can clearly see what fucking neighborhoods are white, which ones are black, which ones are Latino, and we know how we got there. So, it's like, what is it with conservatives and admitting that there's a problem and not addressing it? Because it seems like you guys want to be obsessed with, oh, the gender thing or the racism thing, and then you guys say, oh, it's not here, it's not a big problem, but why are millions of people rioting every couple of years? So let me ask you a question. We can say that it's Democrats yeah. and shit, right? Well, let no, me ask okay, you a question. Okay, okay, okay. So do you th what do you think is a bigger problem facing America? Single fatherhood or racism? Racism, by far. That's can how you say that, to... say that in the microphone? Racism, by far, because racism gets people killed, not single fatherhood. Wait, no, a single motherhood. Let me be more specific. So, so single moms, their fathers leaving the home, you think is a bigger problem than racism? No, sir, sir, sir. Hey, you're gonna have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that one again for you. I think racism is a bigger problem than fathers being outside of the home. However, I do see fathers not being so, in so, the home so, so, is a problem. Let, let's make sure we're defining our terms. How would you define racism then? Racism is a system of oppression used by, uh, used by a certain group using prejudice, institutional power, it. and it's situated by the media, government, and all these so, other things. So give me an example of one thing you as a black man cannot do that I as a white man can do in America. Got you. Okay, so about two weeks ago, right? I went to a DeSantis rally, got my ticket, all that good bullshit. Been to a million different, you know, rallies of a kind, whether, you know, I was a conservative at the time or whether I was a liberal, right? I know that as a black person, I am far more likely to be arrested for expressing my view, whether I am a conservative or a liberal. And I've done it on both sides. And Oh yes, I was. I was. Well, you were probably being a and jerk. That's, that's oh, why you were actually, arrested. and that's the best part. And that's the best did. part, right? And that's the best part. I was. Hold on, fam. You screaming and shit, dog. We trying to hear you out. You screaming and shit, fam. I know shit. that as a black person, I am far more likely to be arrested for expressing my view, whether I am a conservative or a liberal. And I've done it on both sides. And. Oh yes, I was. I was. But you were probably being a jerk. Oh, actually, and that's, actually, and that's the best the part. And that's the best did. part, right? That's the best part. I wasn't even being a jerk. And the courts even okay, found so our beloved let me, courts. Let me make sure I understand this. So you them. think the bigger problem than fathers not being in the home is a abstract conspiracy theory that you have that hecklers and jerks at political events are arrested because of the color of their skin? That that's your, that's the best definition I'm of saying, institutional racism. No, that's you know? that's not my definition on racism. I well, tell me what my definition of something a white man like me can do that a black man like you can't do. Because guess oh, what? One, if I showed up one, at a DeSantis sure, event and started heckling, sure. I'd be kicked out and arrested. No, you would not. No, you, in fact, well, I even have evidence. You know how I know that's true? You want to know? Well, do you want to know how I know? White true? suburban kids from Highland Park, and they're arrested a lot more 
actually when you see the mug shots. Yeah. Well, the white kids are arrested a lot more. Could well, that possibly be? Could that possibly be? Can you talk into the mic? And I'm, and I'm just... And I'm just guessing here. Could it possibly be that white people are arrested more because you have a higher population and therefore by proximity you are more like, because it's math. It's basic math. I know we hate math. I know we hate it, but I passed well, it. Okay. Unlike y'all. Well, so <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. How does racism contribute to black on black? He is yet to answer the question. He's trying to give an example, but like, it's not, it's not, it's not valid. Like, there's been plenty of people arrested at the rallies or whatever and whatnot because of just wilding, you know? You knew what he meant when he was saying heckling and all that shit, fam. White folks have been arrested, black folks been arrested, Mexicans been arrested, like, come on, let's be real. So what is it that they can do that you can't do? Like, you're saying there's still segregation and things. Can you go in somewhere? Can you, Is there somewhere you can't go in because you are black, you are in a black American? Like, just answer that, like, like, just do that. You trying to come up with all these other things and, and, and turn it into something completely different or just shift it a little bit is what you're doing. Answer the question. What is there that a white American can do that you can't? Right, crickets. You are more like... Because I, I can't even say, you know? I can say, has have people experienced racism and traffic stops and other things, of course, we've seen that. And that's why they had to break down not all cops are bad cops. There are some who, you know what I'm saying, carry that old tradition with them. They was racist. They treated you with racism. They did all these other things. But you can't sit here and say a white person has, hasn't been pulled over or a white person hasn't been harassed on a traffic stop. We probably just don't see it, hear about it. But you trying to tell me 8 billion people and not one white person been harassed ever? Because it's math. It's basic math. I know we hate math. I know we hate it, but I passed well, okay. it. I'm like, well, so let, let me ask you a question. How does racism... At this point, nigga just funny. Black on black crime in Chicago? How is I mean, dude just funny. I'm trying to change oh, that. Oh, as a matter of fact, that's actually a whole other issue. So let's talk about... So you want to talk about intercommunal violence as it pertains yeah, to so what, what does the white man have to do with so, it? Oh, and that's a great thing. I love the red herring that you threw in there. No, it's yes, a, because, it's hey, a hey, intracommunal violence is proximal, right? So when we have segregation and we got races sitting in one area and you got another race in another area. Now, we never ask white people, why is white, uh, white on white crime so high? with white people and never, uh, inst but instead we focus on black people. Yeah, so out of the 530 murders in Chicago of the last year, how many were black on black crime? Hey, I wasn't looking, but you know what yeah, I do well know? Well over you know, 420 hey. of them were black on sure, black gang related sure, crime. Sure, How is that sure. racism to blame for that? Right. Let's talk, so now- our Right, that's, that's true. Like it's hella black on black gang violence and whatnot, whether it's gang or not. Majority of it is, you know what I'm saying? You can't call nobody racist when the facts are the facts, you know? How can we lower that rate? How can we fix that? But don't don't come around like, oh, that's racist. Well, you go home and listen to that same type of music, robbing, killing they, they own people. You listen to that, fam. You get hyped to that. You base your energy off that. Then you get mad when it's true. Are we going to I'm not saying there ain't racism, bro. I'm not saying there's not racism. But you can't walk around here and, and just a, accuse everybody in anything of being racist or is racism. To talk about over-policing? I'm sorry, sir. You're kind of would demonstrating. You, like to, you can't answer would you, the question. Would you, would you like to talk about I mean, you, we can't talk about it. We can't. It's, it's a lot of killings going on in a, in a specific neighborhood, right? It's very gang populated. That's facts, right? Right? So now he mad because it's over policed. We didn't added people, right? Y'all want safety. Kids dying by stray bullets and shit. It's too much going on, right? We add hella police over there. Now police targeting blacks. It doesn't make sense. But as soon as they have less police officers and there's more crime and we and somebody acknowledges that, now we got an issue and it's racism. Like y'all just want People to just leave the hood alone, like let it be. That's what y'all want for real. Just let us be. Like that's how y'all that's what y'all want. And okay. are you ready to address it though? Well are you ready to address it? Yeah. Are you 
because we can talk about because we can talk about black on black crime, but we need to talk about it as it pertains. We need to. Okay, let's talk about it, sis. We, we, I'm ready to talk about it. All right, hold on. So I'm ready let, to let talk me just, about it. Let me just narrow this talk. down. So let me just let me just say this, all okay? Right, all right. So yeah. if you were to rank the hundred biggest problems in America. Yeah. The fact that I know we're not a racist country is the best example you have. Is okay, so, so you know we're story of you getting country. kicked Ain't out of a DeSantis rally. If we were a racist country, you'd say, Charlie, I can't go in a convenience store. Charlie, I can't go into school. No, we actually live in such a li a amazingly so not, decent country not, that whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not let's not do that, okay? All I did was bad. All right. To lift a what the fuck just happened, bro? Amazing so if we're not, if country we're not, that whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not let's not do that, okay? All I did was bad. All right. All I did was no. You're trying to pull. Oh no. Mostly peaceful, everybody. Mostly peaceful, okay? I didn't lay hands on you. I didn't lay hands on All you. Right. I got witnesses. I did not touch you. No. All right. I touched the mic. We're gonna wrap this one up, but. Let me just let anyway, me say this. We got racism in we we got racism all over the US. We just had a race riot two three years okay, ago. So let's in talk 2020. About Wait, hold on. And, so, oh my god. And then we had all fifty states plus eighteen countries but don't worry. Wait, so by race like riots, you mean you mean I mass looting of big screen TVs? Work. Let let me tell you. It is not an argument in your favor that we're a racist country because blacks decide decide to start burning down Wendy's and stealing stuff. That's called actually it is because and the you're not even you're not even looking Americans as to why it happened. You're not even looking as to why it happened. And that's cool. And that's cool. You know, we can definitely play. Uh, you know, obtuse. He's not even hearing Charlie out. Why? Racism. Racism was a big issue, and we can pretend that it's not a big issue. But hey, yeah. hey. If, if you don't want to, then that's just called being obtuse. And that's why I asked you, and that's why I asked you, why did you have such a big problem with talking about racism? You want well, to claim that it's not there, and you can say all, right. all you want, so, but that still I, doesn't prove, that I, still, that I, still, that still does conclude. not. If you want to talk about racism. For we have people in our country that are racist, but racism, like our country not like, it ain't like, you know? We might have some people in the system that are racist or corrupt but it ain't like we're built off racism now if i didn't you know what i'm saying catch myself up do my own research and believe what i believe then i would i would a few years ago could sit here and and fucking agree with them because i'd be fucking clueless and and would just think all of a sudden the whole world is racist because i i've seen cops kill blacks and i've seen this and that and you know what I'm saying? But like, like, let's get for real. Like, is there somewhere you can go that they can, that a white American can? You know, has somebody stopped you from using a public restroom because you were a black American? Did somebody not sell something to you because you were a black American? Like, like a legit business, public. Is there racism in our country? Yes, people are, there's people that are racist. Are all people racist? No. Is all of white America racist? No. Have we gotten better in ways? Yes. Have we gotten worse in some ways? Yes. But motherfuckers coming up here with the argument of like it's like back like it's back then, you know? That's the history motherfuckers going off of. Let's go off today. There are some bad cops. There are some racist people. There are some corrupt people. There's regular folks that are racist and corrupt. Do your bad. So because they are, the whole world is now. Like you didn't do everybody in this same box, fam. You can't do that. You can't do that. Why we have to be proven? Right. You want well, to claim that it's not there, and you can say all, right. all you want. So, but that still I, doesn't prove that I, still that I, still that still does conclude. not. If you want to talk about racism that could be proven, right. so let me let me give you so. some examples of racism that could be proven. How about affirmative action at this college that discriminates against Asian students and white students? How about affirmative action hiring practices in the federal government? We are. I spoke on. I spoke on affirmative action. Uh, in like one of these political vids I did. You know. Decent, non-racist country. The best example that he has is to show that he was mistreated. And if he acted like this at the DeSantis event, I can see why he was kicked out of the DeSantis event. Next question. Because he not moving with respect and shit, you know? Anyways, let me know in the comments what y'all thought about the video and the reaction. I did most of my commenting during the vid, you know? 
Like, all I can say right now is, like, I truly like watching videos with Charlie Kirk. And dude got his own opinion. The other dude, he got his own opinion. You feel me? Like, if he feel that way, he can feel that way. Wrong or right. At the end of the day, straight up. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit that share. You know what it is, man. OTB Gale, out of there.